What's up guys, Kudokun here. Audio is going to be a little bit different because I'm using my headset mic, the one I use for the streams, instead of my snowball because for some reason that's picking up a lot of interference right now, so I hope I sound okay. As you guys should know, Desteros was the winner of the ultimate harem challenge, and as such, his reward was choosing what set we would cover this month for Weiss Sports. The set he's chosen is Symphogear, which just happens to be a series I know absolutely nothing about. I see magical girls, I see music, and I'm guessing that's what we're going for. Like a little bit of a Hatsune Madoka, if you catch my drift. We're starting a bit late into the month, but the idea is we're going to cover all four of the sets. So there will be four set reviews, and then maybe one to two deck profiles at the end of the month. A reminder that I will be building three to four decks for this game, and they will be featured during Card Games and Chill, which will resume next week, because I think I've got the streaming thing down now, and we should be good to go. So, same rules as always, we're going to look at four cards from each color. They don't have to be the most powerful, they just have to be the ones that I find the most interesting. Leave it a like if you enjoy it, and if this hits 100 likes by the end of the month, we'll do a part two to this video where I look at four more cards from each color. With all of that out of the way, let's take a look! Kicking off yellow is Hibiki Energetic as Merit. This thing shifts and accelerates. I kind of want to call this thing He BMW, but I'm not going to, and we're all going to forget that I said that. So essentially, this is a free card you can drop that's 7,500 for the turn and becomes a level 2. At the cost, of course, of clocking the top card of your deck. So it's essentially exactly the same as Accelerate, but I think this came out before Accelerate was a thing. If you really want to be technical about it, this happens during the main phase instead of the climax phase, but that really doesn't change anything. Shift is kind of a rare ability, so some of you might not know what it does. As What you can do with it is if it's in your clock at the beginning of your main phase, you can swap it with a card of the same color from your hand. So let's say at the beginning of your turn you draw this card, and you clock it to draw your two cards for the turn. What you can do then is take a yellow card from your hand and switch it with this to guarantee that you can play it during the turn. If it only had one of these abilities, the card would be eh, but having both of these abilities makes us a pretty decent card. Another level 1 Hibiki we have is Transforming. You can discard a card from your hand when this card attacks to give one of your characters plus one soul. You can also choose this as the target of its own ability, so you can attack for two soul. I really don't feel like discarding a card from your hand is a very high cost for this. If your attack goes through, it's essentially discarding a card from your hand to deal one extra damage to your opponent, and I just think that's worth it. And at a base of 6500 power, you're probably going to step over a few things. At level 0, we've got Hibiki Full Power Punch. At the beginning of your opponent's attack phase, you can discard the top card of your deck, and if it's a music character, you can free move this to one open space. There's two great things about this ability. The first is, of course, the free movement, so if your opponent doesn't attack with a full row of three characters, you can just move this straight in front of an open spot so it stays alive to attack during your next turn. But discarding a card from the top of your deck is a great effect, too. Chances are it's not going to be a climax, so when your opponent attacks in, they're actually one card closer to hitting a climax and having their damage cancelled. It's not always going to save your life, but when it does save your life, you're going to notice. Granted, it's in kind of a weird spot here in Simpho Gear because there's so many events that you have to run to make a Simpho Gear deck work, but I guess it still works, but you don't get the free movement. As long as it's not a climax, God help you if it's a climax. As I said before, Simpho Gear is all about those event cards, and the event card we're going to look at for yellow is called Durandal Awakening. It's a counter that gives you plus 4,000 power, and when you reverse the opponent's character, you can choose to put it in the stock. The you can choose part is important, because you don't want to put it in the stock unless you absolutely have to. Like if your opponent's going in with something that encores, or something you know they're going to keep alive, you need to kick that into the stock so they don't have access to it. Otherwise, just getting 4,000 power for one stock and reversing a character is good enough. Getting on to green, we're first going to look at the level 3, Chris Yukine. It's an 11,000 as long as you have at least three other music characters. When it's put in play, all of your characters get plus 2,000 until the end of the turn, and its climax combo lets you knock a character down by 4,000 power if you pay one stock. This power debuff probably isn't going to kill a character, but it will make a character easier for you to attack into. 
Honestly, this card just has a lot of value as far as the level 3 goes. It's on 11,000, it gives everybody this huge power boost when it comes into play, and it can also knock a character down to make them easier to kill, and make it easier for your when this character reverses a character effects to go off. Chris Burning Fighting Spirit is an interesting card, because you can rest one of your characters in the front row to give all of your characters plus 2500 and plus 1 level until the end of your opponent's next turn. On top of that, you also get to put the top card of your deck into the stock. That last part is important, because it means you're not actually losing any stock when you use this effect, what you're actually losing is damage, and sometimes the damage isn't worth it. You can use this effect to give everybody a huge boost, and also let you step over Suiciders, so this is a good way to get rid of Suiciders on the field, or specific problematic cards, or you could even use it to boost your own character's levels to help your own suiciding, and we can get onto that later. Let's just say that this effect opens up a lot of interesting plays for a green-red deck. We're going to look at two events in green, the first being Ichiival. Oh, don't get on my case about pronunciation. I am pronouncing it exactly as the katakana is written, and I didn't cover the katakana to prove it. Ichiival lets you swap one of your level 2 Chris's with one of your level 3 Chris's in the waiting room. Couple of interesting things here. The first is you don't actually have to put the new Chris in the old Chris's spot, so if you just want to put it somewhere else to step in front of a different attack, you can totally do that. Also, don't forget that level 3 Chris gives everybody plus 2000 power when she comes into play, so use that to your advantage. The only thing I don't like about this card is the cost. 3 is so much, I wish it were 2. If it were 2, this would be perfect, but it's 3, so it's kinda iffy. Next event we'll look at is Staff of Solomon. You guys remember QQ to so QQ with the weird Cube card? Well, this deck also has a version of that deck, and it's also pretty well supported. If you have a Chris or Fine in play, you can play this to search your deck for three Noise Episode 4s and put them in play. We're not going to look at Noise Episode 4 because it's not that important, it's really just a Swarm card, you know what it's for, and it has essentially the exact same strategy as QQ. I just think it's really interesting that Simpho Gear supported a deck like this. Our red level 3 is Miku Kohinata, and her effect just shows how great the synergy is between green and red. She heals on play, and then if you have at least two other music characters in play, and you play an event card, then this gets a plus 1000 boost, and when it reverses a character, it kicks it on top of the deck. This, in conjunction with the great event cards in green, lead to some pretty great plays. I'd like to draw your attention to the fact that it's not just during your turn, you can also do it when you use a backup counter during your opponent's turn. You use the Chi Ball, and then all of a sudden this is kicking whatever's attacking into it back on top of the deck. With the crazy reliance the set has on events, it's easy to see why Kanade Power to Win would be a great card. Its climax combo lets you take a level 2 or lower event from your discard pile and put it back in your hands, and also gives you a plus 1000 power boost for the turn. So the idea is you play an event, and then you recycle it with Kanade, and then you get to play it again. Obviously, clocking yourself for one damage and paying one stock is kind of a hefty price for it, so you've got to decide whether or not you're in a position to use it, but if you are, this is a pretty great effect. When Ryoko at her own pace is played, you can pay one stock to turn one of your music characters into a Suicider. That's a pretty good effect on its own, but want to know would be really great? If Symphogear had a card that consistently raised the level of all of your characters by one. I mean, if we had that, we could pretty much turn any of our level 1s into a level 2 Suicider, or a level 2 into a level 3 Suicider. Hmm, if only that were the case. If only. Last stage is appropriately the last card we'll look at for red. It's a level 2 that costs 1 stock, it gives 2 of your music characters plus 2500 power, and when they reverse a character, you can pay 1 to salvage a character. So essentially, you just don't gain stock for the turn, you get to salvage two characters, and overall it's worth 5,000 power. Yes, please! Gonna be honest with you guys, blue kinda sucks in this set, but we're gonna do the best we can, so forgive me if some of these cards come off as mediocre. If you put Tsubasa Kazunari in play using her event combo, then she gets a plus 1500 boost and becomes a natural 11,000, which is pretty good, and you can draw two cards and discard a card from your hand when you put her in play. The event also lets you heal, so I guess that's okay. This is the event card that gets it in play. You can sacrifice a level 2 Subasa to put your level 3 Subasa in play, and then this gets removed and you heal one from the clock. It's not awful value because it costs 2, which is the exact same as hard casting your level 3, but at the same time, it's just a little bit underwhelming compared to the other colors. 
Tsubasa standing dignifiedly is a bi-level assist that also lets you put one card from the top of your deck underneath this as a marker when it comes into play by resting it. You can then use that marker to pay for an event card. In some cases, you can even play an event for free. You could see where this kind of effect would be useful, like if you can get two of these in the back row with two markers under them, then you can pay both of those markers to play your uh, level 3 Tsubasa for free by playing the event card. So overall, just an amazing card for the deck, and if you're going to run blue, I'd say that this is probably the card you're running it for. The last card we'll look at today is Enveloping Kindness, and it is... Okay, it's, you know, it's whatever, it's fine. You can ditch a music character to draw two cards and give one character plus 1,000 power uh, for one stock, which is, I really wish the music character thing weren't there and you could just discard one card from your hands, because if you could, this would be a pretty decent way to get rid of a climax and get two cards out of it, or even just ditch an event card that you feel like you don't need. But it really doesn't get you any hand advantage because you're losing two cards and gaining two cards, and the plus 1,000 power boost is a little bit underwhelming. If you're running an all-blue deck, this is probably worth running, but if you're not, then it's probably not. And that's it for the set, so what do I think of it? It really doesn't hold up as well as some of the older sets do, to be completely honest. It was actually very difficult to find enough cards to make this video. Uh, it, it's fine. It was probably fine back in the day. Um, the fact that there are three other sets that this built into probably makes it a lot better. Like, when I look into those three sets, uh, Simple Gear is probably a really great set, but just this very first attempt was a little bit misguided. The set just doesn't have anything to do do most of the time. It feels like they were trying to go for this really crazy combo-centric set, but it fell a little flat because what you actually get out of doing the combos just isn't enough to justify doing the combos in the first place. The event thing is a really neat idea, like basing an entire set around using event cards, but the events are just a little bit too underwhelming to use most of the time. I think the only way I would run a set with just these cards is a really trolly green and red deck focusing on using the green cards to increase levels and the suiciders from red. Not saying it can't run well, but by today's standards, this set is pretty weak. Later, everyone. I'll see you next time for Simple Gear G. Hey, you. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate it if you left me a like. They help the channel grow and let me know that you want more of this kind of content in the future. The channel is currently being supported by these lovely folks on Patreon. You guys rock! If you have any thoughts on the video, of course leave them in the comment section below along with suggestions on what I should do next, but also answer this question to prove that you made it to the end of the video, if you feel like it. And finally, if you found this video by accident, then subscribe to stay up to date on the latest Kudo news. You can also hit the notification bell. Ringing the little bell will let you know when I upload a new video. See you next time!